Hi, welcome to Rick Shields Golf YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing some three woods, comparing them up against each other. I've got the 10 hottest three woods in the world currently at the moment, and we're going to be reviewing them, testing them, getting them on flight scope. I'm going to be hitting five real golf balls with them, taking the best three, and then using the average from there to see which one of the two is the winner. I've got all 10 names in the hat, so we're going to start drawing them out and see which one is going to be the best one to go with, okay? So I'm going to let you guys pick. So we've got the Ping G25. So the Ping G25, uh, quite popular with the driver, and the three would might just be the same against. Thank you. Against oh, <laughs> the the Ping I20. Honestly, this is not a fix. I, I've just said this with the night ones. I've just done the night ones. It's not a fix. These are the, this is the G25. I've got other names in the heart. I've got the title list and the Adam still left to do reviews of. But anyway. Just to spoil the last video, really. Um, we've done, we've got the G25 ping against the I20 ping. It's going to be a good matchup. Join me in a moment. We're going to get them on flight scope, get them hitting them, and hopefully you enjoy the video. Keep tuned. So we've got the two pings head to head. I'm going to do a comparison on them. I'm going to start off with the G25 first, the slightly more forgiving one out of the two, and then we've got the I20 to give a test as well. I'm going to be hitting it with real golf balls off a very small tee just to get the most well the cleanest connection I can possibly do to get the most accurate results and then we'll have a look at the uh, the final flight scope figures and then see which one out of these two is the straightest and possibly the the longest as well so g25 first slightly bigger head uh, both with these two we've got them exactly the same setup both in 15 degrees both in stiff shafts so as fair a comparison I can possibly get between the two We'll start off with the, the G25 first. It's just started raining, but that shouldn't affect too much with the flight scope figures. We are in Manchester after all. So, let's give this one a hit first. Well, that's a good start. I've really hit that well. I've really hit that nicely. That felt gorgeous off the face. One of the best reels I've hit today, really. Uh, 254, so not a bad start. Yeah, very nice. Easy, forgiving. Nice launch, nice flight. So far, nice and straight, but I've only hit two, so don't get too giddy. 259. Might help if it stays on the T pack. I know all you out there going, that's one. I'm not going to try that on me. So, third one. Oh, it feels really nice to hit. Really nice. It feels like it's. It's probably one of the easiest three woods I've hit today, uh, and I've hit quite a lot. This is second to last review, 247. Okay, I've got two more. That's a nice flight. Yeah, it feels great, feels really solid. And we've got one more. Can't really critique this too much. They've all been very straight, decent in length. Last one. Ooh, just a bit off the bottom of the club. See what distance that gets out of it still. That wasn't hit very well, I must admit, I'll be honest with you there. Let's see what kind of distances that gets out of that one even. It's run a long way, 264. Okay, so the I-20, I'm just going to change the setting on the, uh, on the flight scope. Wherever it is, I-20, ping I-20. Now, this is a smaller club head in size so whether it's slightly easier to hit off the deck it's got exactly the same matte finish polished bottom so like i say the i20 is supposed to be the slightly harder club to hit um so we'll have a look at the dispersion between the two and profiling it sits it's just a mini version of that really that's like ipad and ipad mini there's no difference it just sits a little bit smaller behind the golf ball let's give this one a hit Just leaked it on the wind there, just that slight bit of left to right on it a touch, or straight to right, shall I say, a little bit of a push. 240, it's not quite as long so far. Oh, that was nice. Slightly lower penetrating flight. 268, it's a biggie. It's a biggie. Ooh, this has just torn me now. 
I really liked the G25 before, but this has just pulled it out of the bag, I feel. 259, this feels fantastic. And it sits ever so slightly better for a three-wood, in my opinion. A little bit toey, so not quite as forgiving. That'll be interesting to see what the, uh, the figures I get off that one is. That was a bit toey, but still went 251 yards, so probably above average out of the three was I've been hitting today. Let's go one more. Very nice. Very nice. Great feel off the club head. Let's have a look at the last figure on that one. 250 exactly. So, join me in a moment. We're going to see what the flight scope figures are coming out at against the G25, against the I-20. We'll see which one is the longest and which one has got the best dispersion, which one's going to help you hit more fairways and greens possibly into par fives. Stay tuned and we'll be back in two secs. Right, so I've just done the hitting of the G25 against the I-20. I've taken the worst two out of the five out of the equation, but I must admit there wasn't that many bad ones. Uh, even the bad ones were going some decent distances out of these two clubs, so incredibly forgiving. Right, I'm going to start off with the dispersion, so how far the three were kind of separate to each other. This is very interesting. Um, the best so far out of all of them, out of all the videos I've done so far, is a night cover at four yards, which was incredibly accurate. But these two, the Ping I-20 and the G25, were exactly the same dispersion. Both got nine yards exactly. So pretty accurate with, the, uh, with how, how much it's going offline, really. So fantastic with that. So it comes down to distance. Which one of these two is going to be the longest? If we look at the um, G25 first. So G25 was the first one that I tested. At first, it felt phenomenal until I tried the I-20, but it did feel absolutely dead easy to hit. Great ball flight, great height, um, phenomenal easy hit off the, off the tee. Uh, because it's a bit bigger, maybe slightly harder to hit off the fairway or the uh, rough, but apart from that, it feels pretty good. And the average distance out of those two was 260. So 260 yards average distance out of that. So pretty good compared to the ones that I've been trying so far. The I-20. So what do we think, longer or shorter? Do we think it's gone longer or shorter? Let's just go back to the other one, the I-20. So the I-20, we've got 259 yards. It lost by one yard. Honestly, these two clubs, you cannot separate. They have gone almost identical dispersion, well, identical dispersion, and the I-20 has gone one yard less out of the three best ones that I've hit. So unbelievable really really nice clubs to hit like i said i almost do compare them to the ipad and the ipad mini they both do exactly the same things just one's a bit a little bit smaller so it depends on which one you prefer personally i prefer the look of the i20 but that's just myself i've got the i15 currently and i think that's probably the natural progression to go on to the i20 but both phenomenal golf clubs really enjoyed hitting them thanks very much for watching that review guys uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please do check out the other ones that I've done as well in the past. I've done some more three woods and driver and iron reviews in the past and plenty of golf tips. Do check me out on Facebook and Twitter. The reason why I started doing this three wood comparison today is I actually asked a question on my Facebook and my Twitter and someone came back to me, Tim Williams said, do some three wood comparisons. So I am doing. If you want anything reviewing, if you want anything testing, do get in contact with me, leave comments down below. Do subscribe as well, guys, because it does help me make more videos. The more people that subscribe, the more videos I'll do, and the more videos and more videos and more videos. So, G25 came victorious one yard against the I-20. Thanks very much for watching, and hopefully you've enjoyed the other videos too.